The biological features of CUP syndrome or cancer of unknown primary is that metastases from an unknown primary are found in the patient and the primary cancer responsible for metastatic seeding cannot be identified despite thorough clinical and pathological and radiological workup. And that is also part of the problem because up to now cancer treatment is oriented at the primary that is responsible for the metastases. And therefore, there is no specific treatment for CUP available and only unspecific chemotherapy can be delivered, by now at least. Molecular analysis in patients with CUP syndrome is very important because, as I have explained earlier, unspecific chemotherapy in those patients leads to poor results with a very poor prognosis in those patients and we can only improve on that as by definition a primary cannot be identified by doing molecular analyses and the types of molecular analysis that we can employ here is either next generation sequencing of tumor tissue and if that is not available which is a common problem in cup syndrome because there is nothing that is operated on we only have small typically small core biopsies so if tumor tissue is not available we can do liquid biopsies. To find out whether this molecularly guided therapy does really improve results over platinum-based uh, chemotherapy, we have performed a large international trial on more than 600 patients. And in that trial, we have randomized the strategy that I have explained, namely next generation sequencing and then molecularly guided treatment based on the findings of the next generation sequencing versus platinum-based chemotherapy. And the results have been presented at this meeting and they clearly show that molecularly guided treatment is superior over platinum-based chemotherapy. So the COPISCO trial has shown, as mentioned already, that in general, the strategy of performing uh, next generation sequencing and then delivering molecularly guided therapy, including immunotherapy, is superior over platinum-based chemotherapy. The molecularly guided therapy in that trial was delivered in different strata because different patients have different targets. It is difficult from that trial, although it was a large trial already, to conclude on specific strata. So we don't know yet for each specific treatment whether this is superior. We only know by now that the whole strategy, target identification and then molecularly guided therapy is superior to platinum-based chemotherapy. We suspect that a few of the targets are better than others, but numbers are too small to definitely conclude on that. Having the results of the COPISCO trial at hand, which now demonstrate that molecularly guided therapy is superior to platinum-based chemotherapy, improves the field quite a bit, as there has been no improvement in the results for CUP patients during the last 30 or 40 years, meaning that uh, the prognosis is nowadays as poor as it has been 30 or 40 years ago. But having those results at hand now, we think that as more and more molecularly guided treatments will become available in the near future, the prognosis will continuously improve over the next years also for patients with this unfavorable disorder. One consequence of the trial now will be that each patient that is diagnosed with unfavorable cup syndrome will receive next generation sequencing in order to identify potential targets. <music>